Hey, you've tuned into Math with Mr. C, and now we're learning 14 three percents greater than 100 and less than 1. You may notice that there's not a 14 two lesson. You guys have demonstrated that uh, we don't need to spend time on that. We're going to go on to one lesson higher. Please check your homework from 14.1. On to our first example for 14.3. Percents greater than 100 and less than 1. How can you express percents greater than 100? Jan and Kim built model cars for a science project. Kim's car traveled 140% as far as Jan's car. I see that that's farther. How can you write 140% as a fraction and as a decimal? Today we're going to talk about how you make percents into fractions percents into decimals, and between. Remembering that a percent compares a number to 100. Looking down here, I know that 100 is always on the bottom when there's a percent sign. So, this is just a picture. Jan's car traveled 100%, but the other car traveled 140%, which I see is farther than that. Kim's car traveled that far. Expressed as a fraction, Right here, we see that there's a bigger number on top. It's called an improper fraction. All I really do is just put 100 at the bottom because this is 140% with a clue word of glass table. And then later on they see, oh, I can simplify that. I can simplify it by 20. And when you divide 140 hundredths or 140 per 100 or 140%, you can divide it by 20 and then you get 7 fifths shown here. I see that when turning into a decimal, it's always going to be one point something if there's a number up here that's bigger. Why is that? Well, this is 140 hundredths or 140 percent, which is the same as 100 over 100. We got 140 plus, this is a plus sign, 40 hundredths. When you add those together, you get 140 hundredths. I know that 100 over 100 is one whole, so it's one whole plus 40 hundredths. This is how I would read the decimal, 40 hundredths, equals 1 and 40 hundredths. We just transitioned a fraction into a decimal. If it's over 100, we see it's going to have a whole number here. It is the same if you take away the 0, and then you get 1.4, like here. There are no vocab notes today. Here's example one. Please write this sentence right here. Write one half percent as a fraction and as a decimal. How can we express this small percent as a fraction and a decimal? That could be a challenge. We're going to find out. So there's different ways I could read this, and I'm really big on reading math correctly because it helps me understand it. I could read this right here as one half percent, or what could help me even more is reading this one half, the, the fraction of, there's a multiplication here, one percent. One half of one percent. Does that help me get a fraction? Let's find out. One half of one percent. We remember this is one percent because it has one, and then we know whenever it's a percent, it has a hundred on the bottom. So when we have one half of one percent, this is one half of one percent. Meaning then you could multiply straight across and we're making into a fraction. We have one, two, hundredths. Can I simplify that further? No, so that's my answer. And yes, that is the quickest possible way you can do it. Now how do we make this fraction here into a decimal? Well, we just divide. And I need to add a decimal here. I see that I'm going to bring the decimal up. 100 can't divide into 200. I'm going to have to make one more zero. What is a 1,000 divided by 200? How many 200s can go into 1,000? How many groups of 200 are there in 1,000? Let's try five. That's correct. So what's my answer as a decimal? It is five tenths, hundreds, thousands, five thousands. And it makes sense that this is 
one two hundredth because they split there's a hundred here and they split one of them in half and we have half of that as white so if we split all of them then we'd only have one out of two hundred now let's move on to a simpler problem of this decimal we want to make it into a fraction then a percent some of you might find this easier how do I read this I read this 91 hundredths okay so as a fraction I write that 91 hundredths shebang already done man that was nice how do I make that into a percent well I see that a hundreds already on the bottom so I read this 91 per a hundred or 91 per cent 91 percent moving on in three two one Here's example two. Here I separated them out just how I'd like you to do in your notes. And I'm actually gonna do number one with you. I remember that I said that this could be read in 150% or 150 of 1%. Does that work every time? Yes, it does. In trying to make it into a fraction, this is 150 of 1%. We know that this is 150 holes, so we're gonna put a one underneath. When we multiply straight across, we get 150 over 100. Mr. C, that's exactly what you told me, that when it's 150%, there's always 100 on the bottom. Exactly. So this does apply when we do the other numbers. So is this my answer? Well, that's not simplest form. So first, I'm going to want to simplify the easiest way, which is crossing off zeros at the end. Can I still simplify that further? Yes, I can divide that by 5. So my answer is three halves. Now let's do it as a decimal. Here I have three divided by two, three divided by two. Two goes in once, and oh dang, I need a decimal, that means I need to add a zero, bring it down, and so it's is my answer 15? No, I need to bring my decimal up. My answer is 1.5. Notice how it's over 100%, so we have a whole number of 1.5, which is the same as 1 in 50 hundredths. Please do 2, 3, and 4 with the answers coming in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is 0.2, 2 tenths percent. I can't leave it like that. I need whole numbers in the numerator and denominator, so I'm going to multiply it by 10. Therefore, I have 2 and 1,000, and then I can divide it by 2 over 2, and I get 1 500th, and that's my fraction. Turning that into a decimal, I had to make additional zeros, bring up my decimal, just like that. Here we have 325 hundredths. As a fraction, I can't leave it like that. I can simplify it. Therefore, I divide the top and bottom by 25. My answer is 13 fourths. The decimal here is 3 and 25 hundredths. You may notice that an easier way to make the decimal instead of dividing would be to just look at the percent and to move it over 1, 2, and that is the decimal, if you're noticing the trend. On to number 4. 3 tenths of 1%. 3 one thousandths. I cannot simplify that. That's my answer. One way I could do the decimal is I know that this actually is 3 tenths percent, which means that it's 3 tenths percent. I noticed that earlier on in number 3 that you could move the decimal over twice and you'll get your answer as a decimal. So if I move this over twice, I get this as an answer. I wonder if I get that same answer if I actually divide. Here it's 3 divided by 1,000, 3 divided by 1,000, decimal point, and some zeros. And 3 can divide into 3,000 three times. Notice how you get the same answer. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. Please do each of these problems, writing the original, and then writing it as a fraction and a decimal. Showing you the answers in 3, 2, 1. Here are your answers. I'm going to zoom in one at a time. Moving on. Moving on in 3, 
two, one. Thank you for watching this video. Please click the link below for the Khan Academy video and practice, and then you can choose one of these two options. We are actually on book three now for the Enrichment iBook. Yes, you're awesome.